introduce yourself for us? My name is uh, Elisenda, Eli. I'm from Spain, but I live in London. Wonderful, wonderful. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Eli. What do you do? Um, I'm Spanish, uh, but I live in London for the last 15, 16 years, and I work in computer graphics. Wonderful. Yes. And uh, this is how many times have you been to Iran so far? This is gonna. Well, this has been my fourth time in Iran. It was once this year, twice last year, and then back in 2001 for the first wow. time. So, how how did you get uh, in touch with Tap Persia, and um, well, which trip got you familiar with Tap Persia? How did you get involved? With this? First time I got in touch with Tap Persia was because I was organizing the trip with my family. I came with my husband and with my two kids, which are 10 and 8 years old. But I don't like organized trips. I really don't like to have everything already set for me. It was part of the fun for me organizing the trip. So I was looking for somebody that would just give me the bits and pieces I needed, like getting the visa, getting hotels, and um, transportation as well. Because uh, money transactions in Iran are very difficult from the West, so you need a third person that can do that for you. So why did you decide to bring your kids with you? Why did you think it would be a good idea to bring your kids to Iran? For many reasons. The, f the main reason is because I like Iran. I've been to Iran many times and I want to show them. And also probably to beat stereotypes about Iran because there are many preconceptions that you need to see to believe. So once you're in the country, you can get a much better idea. And they are young enough to understand the difference between what people say and what you actually experience. That's wonderful. And tell me a little bit more about how Tap Persia helped you achieve those experiences that you wanted. Basically, um, especially, uh, they've been very flexible with the, with the pieces I wanted from them. So slowly, First I got my paperwork ready uh, and I was never forced to take any package or any extra thing that I didn't want to. They never pushed me to get anything I didn't want or ask for. And then whatever I asked for, they would give me all the advice I needed. So we slowly, I really like the, the very special thing is to build the trip slowly, step by step. Kind of custom made. So any city I would go, I would tell them my requirements. I want like a family hotel close to this, close to that. And I want a number of experiences, or I just want to go on my own. I don't need anything and everything else is just fine. Tell me about your visa experience, your first visa experience and your last visa experience and any information about the stamp on your passport. The, the visa, my visa experience has been, I've had all kinds of experiences. The, the, first one, 2001, by a connection, a friend of mine working somewhere in the embassy got it for me, so I don't know very well how it worked. That was 2001. And then last year, we just got it uh, through Tap Persia. I submitted passport information, pictures, and I didn't want to risk to get the visa on arrival that I can get because I have a Spanish passport, but I would rather have the visa already on my passport. That was last year. Mm -hmm. And it took me not long at all. I sent the submissions online, I did the payment online, and then I got the confirmation. So after that, I go to the embassy in London and process it, that it takes a week, basically. So I know I leave London with the visa approved and sorted. But now regulations have changed, and this year, uh, I got my visa through Tap Persia the same way, submitted all my uh, passport, response is very quick, in a couple of days you have the uh, approval, but this time they've changed it, I think it's for European um, passport holders, because they just gave me a paper with the approval and that's it, no passport stamps, no nothing, my passport is clear. What's, your, what's been your best feeling or best memory from Iran so far, throughout all of your trips? Probably, well, bringing my family here for me was a big thing, mm -hmm. because I liked Iran for such a long time, and I talk about it so many times, that when they were actually in the place, it made me very happy to see them experience it. Tell me, can you tell me uh, like a specific memory you had with your family while they were here? Uh, there's a thing, I think I mentioned it before, is, is this thing with kids, kids are welcome, anywhere, anytime, and they are treated so well. 
and it makes things very easy, very, very playful, very joyful. So the, the kids have a very warm experience everywhere they go. Even going to places where in the West you need to behave a bit more formal, like if you go to a mosque or you go to a museum, in here they are, you know, they open the door for them and they misbehave a little bit, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> absolutely That's fine. wonderful. Um, are you doing anything to introduce Iran to people back home or your family and friends? Um, apart from me talking about Iran very often to anyone I meet, uh, this time I'm setting up a project to bring contemporary art from Iran out of Iran because I think there's, it's very difficult to get uh, from the West, it's very difficult to get what is really going on inside Iran because you either find it in Farsi or you know, it's very difficult to really get an English-based communication. It's quite hard. I think it's more what's happening inside Iran is very local. Even art, even contemporary, is very local. There's a big market, lots of money moving, but it's very local. It's just they know people in the know are Iranian, basically. Uh, so I'm trying to bring all this kind of by hand because I come here. I get the pieces and I take them back to London and I'm going to show them there. London and probably Spain, I'm going to try to do like a two-city show. That's wonderful. And finally, could we get you to say two different messages? One, for your family and friends back in London yes. and for your family and friends back in Spain. So two different messages, one in English, one in Spanish for... Okay, your for the English ones, mm -hmm. uh, just come to Iran, come to Iran, because mm -hmm. it's great. And for the Spanish ones, uh, Venid a Iran is super, super. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and is there anything else that you would like to share with us uh, about your experiences, about your time here, where you've stayed, the people you've met, some of your interactions, anything like that that comes to mind that you'd like to share? You know, I think, uh, I think, contacting, contacting, damn it, contacting Tab Persia for my first trip has opened up many doors. Because if I'm doing this art project, it's because through Hadi, I met some gallerists, and that triggered my kind of hunger to do it. And you see, I think because also a lot of people in Tabriz are very used to deal with Western people as well as Iranian people. Every time I come, every time I come here, I get a different experience, which is deeper. The first time you come, you do you see sightseeing, you see the buildings, you eat the food that you see on the guide, and it's great. Second time you get a little bit deeper because you know someone that introduces you to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And then you know maybe like the uh, day by day life of Iranians, uh, you start seeing the different social classes. You see you know, people with lots of money, just working people like you, people with less money. Every time you come you see a different layer and Iran has many, many, many layers. Thank you so much, Ali, for your time, You're and we hope to see you back in Iran soon. You'll see me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely.